What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Dunarami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today is a follow up video on the free to play one that I did last week. Now, if you guys saw that video, that one was all about every Universe 6 unit being free to play, but then also it was kind of a preview for these two units and uh, what they were going to look like before and after they got their TR. So, this unit right here, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa and the Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Both just had their TURs happen, I think, two, one day ago, two days ago. So I wanted to do a comparison between how they were before and how they were after. So we did the first part last week, I believe, on that Free to Play Universe 6 video. So that was uh, looking at these units as they are here. And now they got their TURs. So now they are both in their final forms. And uh, they are both pretty good. I think the, the Khalifa is way better than the Kale. But let's take a look at both of them. So now. Uh, both are sub leads for their types. P plus 350% across the board. That's not a big deal. Uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. That's Super Saiyan 2 Kale. And then her passive, she's a support. Universe Rival Saga category allies. Key plus 2, 30% for attack and defense. Defense plus 50% when there is an ally whose name includes Khalifa in the, on the team. And all allies, key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 10% if the ally is attacking in the same turn. So if you're attacking with Kale or Khalifa. I never get their names right. If they're attacking together, her passive is fully realized. That's basically how it works. And then the same thing goes for the Khalifa. The Khalifa is so much better, though, because her super attack raises defense by 30% for one turn. That hasn't changed. That's how it was in her SSR form. But she's also a sub lead for STR. And then just check out check out this passive. It's ridiculous. Attack plus 20%, defense plus 20%, up to 80. Chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, plus 15%, up to 60. Wait, what? Yeah, up to 60. Per Universe Survival Saga category ally on the team. Attack plus 50% when there is an ally whose name includes Kale on the team. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack if the ally is attacking in the same turn. And I've given her max additional. So, she could potentially launch up to three super attacks, boosting her defense three times on top of all of the boosts and the dodges that she already has. So, this unit is basically a virtually unstoppable object. And we are bringing a 100% rainbow Universe 6 lead in the form of Kefla, so we're keeping everyone exactly the same. The only change, I would say, honestly, is that this <laughs> has a sticker. And you would think that this is Goresh. This is actually not Goresh. This is my boy Scott. I had no idea, but that dude rainbowed Kefla. So, jeez. Uh, yeah, so congrats to Scott. I'm not at all jealous. I actually am not at all jealous, because, like, I got the one Kefla. I have zero motivation to go back into that banner for any reason. But, yeah, so everything else is the same. Conditions are the same. 100% free-to-play team. 100% rainbow friend unit. So let's begin. We're jumping back into the Kefla Dokkan event. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. The last time that we did this, it was pretty straightforward. It was pretty easy because everyone was pretty uh, cohesive. The, the synergy was great. I don't even think we had any rotation problems. I think everybody was in the same rotation that we needed. Is that going to be the same? No, it's not. It looks like it's going to be a little different. So, Super Saiyan 2, Khalifa, and Kale are in uh, different slots. So, what we're going to try to do is... Hmm. If we move Kale off of rotation in the second turn, I think it'll take three turns for her to reunite with Khalifa. That's okay, though. Because we still have, we still have them together, essentially. So, the passive will still work because there is a Kale attacking on the same turn. It's not necessarily the one that we want, but there's still a Kale here. And this one's really good too. These two free-to-play World Tournament units are fantastic. When they attack with their counterpart, they get double the attack. Does the same thing happen here? The name includes Khalifa. So yeah, you know what? Both of the conditions are still met. Both of these units require the other one to fully realize their passive. The condition has still been met. So this is actually gonna work out pretty well. So let's have the Khalifa go after Kale. And then we'll have Kale go after Khalifa. <laughs> and then we'll have Hito do whatever he wants. I don't think it matters too much. So let's see how this goes. Uh, between between these two, I think we could probably take them out this turn. We'll see. Uh, maybe not. Okay, well, there's the additional. Okay, so we had two additionals there. So both the passive and my hidden potential triggered. Neither one, unfortunately, was a super. But we still had two additionals, so that's good. And we dodged the attack, which is also good. So if we can't dodge it, but let's say she is able to launch two supers, she would be able to tank some hits pretty well. And that's the idea here. 
And so same with Kale. Okay, wow, we're totally off. Neither one was able to uh, kill anybody. Uh, both launched... Uh, well, actually, Kale launched two super attacks, so she is in good shape. Alright, so here is the second rotation. We're going to try to avoid using the Kefla at all costs. So here, it's all about the support. We haven't even stacked any attack yet, and look at this Look at this Khalifa. She's already got 100,000 attack. Are you serious? Good lord, it's because of this. It's because of this. All allies keep plus one, attack plus 10%. And then attack and defense plus 30%. That's a 40%. That's a 40% attack and defense boost. That's really good. Okay, so let's have her. Let's just focus on uh, attacking Khalifa. Khalifa is the threat here, so we'll do that. And then we'll have uh, Kefla take out the stunned, weak Kale. So let's see how much damage we can do here. So with the support, I think I gave her additional... No, I, I think I gave her dodge with the rest going into additional. So that one you can kind of question as far as how the build should be. I had given her maximum dodge before because I wasn't a big fan of her, of her build. And I didn't really think that she would be able to survive most hits if she were to just go out for additionals and crits. So I gave her that dodge sort of as a safety net. She's basically a support. And if she were to get hit, well, now she has a chance to get out of it. So uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys have something different in mind for this build. But yeah, I mean, looking at this, her, her attack didn't change. Her passive basically just means everybody is more defensive and offensive. And I think she has 50% more defense, if anything. That's not much. So I'm still kind of okay with the fact that I gave her 20 dodge and 6 additional. But you guys can let me know your thoughts. All right, so now we are in round 2. And let's have Khalifa go in again. Kale can go in again. You know, we actually might just keep this the way it is. Look at that. Look at that. So, Kale has boosted twice, and she has the same... She has less attack than the Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, and she doesn't even stack at all. Not attack. So, really good. Oh, shoot. I pushed the wrong button. Dang it. I thought I had Kefla attacking on this turn. All right. Hopefully, we can get a couple additionals uh, here going, and we can stack that defense up. Let's go. Okay. One... Second one, second one. Oh, man, come on. Come on, dude. Oh, but you know what? There it is. Yeah. So if we still got hit, we had the type advantage, and we boosted our defense by 30%. So we probably would have done just fine. I kind of wish we did get hit by that. But Khalifa dodged it. She has been one of the most reliable free-to-play units in terms of dodging in the entire game. I think, if anything, the only one that's probably more reliable in my experience has been the Candy Vegito. But other than that, it's been all about it's been all about her. All right, so here, uh, when you have Kale attacking in the same turn, you have a high chance of dodging attacks. So I'm gonna see if we can. Actually, we should kind of test out the durability. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We should not test out the durability of the Kale on this turn. We have type disadvantage. That would be stupid. So let's just let's just do what we were gonna do. We're gonna have Khalifa go up front because she's stacked a little bit and she can dodge. Oh, man, actually. Kale probably... Wait! You just attacked! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, that's it? Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. Never mind. Thought that was going to be way worse. It probably would have been if we had Kale taking that attack. Oof. All right, double stack thanks to Khalifa. And now Kale with the normal attack that really won't do much. She's not good. She's not good. She's just there to support. And we stunned again. You know what? That hit. That hit is making a statement. Last time we did the showcase, hit provided no support whatsoever. And I mean, like, nothing. He did nothing. I don't think he stunned. I don't think he really did much damage. He just kind of sat around and watched the girls do all the work. So, yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a lot better. So, let's have Khalifa go. I don't even think we're going to have Kale stack here. Yeah, there's no need. There's no need. And Kefla is definitely not going to go. So, untouchable Khalifa with the attack. This should take her out. I think we got two more rounds after this. So, oh, and I forgot we were supposed to. Oops, <laughs> we were supposed to get the Khalifa and the Kale together, and we're not even doing that. Should I do it? Maybe I should. Nah, nah, nah. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep it this way. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. We're getting to see them work 
in their optimal situations without having to be together. So this just speaks to how great the free-to-play scene is for Universe 6. And we started off with a Vados as the lead, which means key plus two, 66% across the board. So theoretically, you would not like this team because the key situation is kind of lacking. Usually, you know, you want to have at least a key plus three, 70% or something going. But you don't have to worry about that this time because the synergy and the the overall cohesion of this team is so good, you don't have to worry about key, really. All right, so... Uh-oh. Please don't attack Vados. That would hurt. All right, Vados, do some nerfing, please, because you might get... Okay. You were about to get worked with that super. Let's check the stats. Okay, so... Why are things a little different now? Why is it that neither you... Wait. Last time... Oh, I think it was because we had uh, Kefla on rotation. Or no, we had Vados. I think that's what it was. Yeah, Vados was here. Everybody got more stats. Okay. I was going to say why neither unit has over 140,000 attack. But that's okay. That's okay. So Khalifla go first. We have three attacks inbound for Khalifla. So she should be able to handle all that no problem. And then Kale, and then Hito. So we'll see. And now, Kefla cannot be stunned, so it's not going to matter. So our first hit there is 93. We haven't even stacked our defense yet. Oh yeah, she's been nerfed, thanks to Vados. See, everybody contributes here. Everybody contributes. Vados being there, it's great because you get key support, stat support. She also can kind of stall and dodge. And she nerfs. So, if you're in the early stages of a fight, and you're trying to get the ball rolling with all the stacking, the best thing you could do is either stun or seal or nerf. And you can't do that. Well, you, actually, does there anyone? Yeah, the hit can stun, but nobody else can seal or anything. So the next best thing would be to nerf their attack. And that would do wonders for your stacking because as soon as their attack goes down, the amount of damage that you take after you do one stack of any kind is significantly reduced. So this team all around works so well. I want to do more events with this team. Especially now that they have their TURs. There's our first real set of damage that we actually took. Hit is the first real <laughs> real unit to take some like massive damage. We're about at half health. I don't even think I need to use any items here. I think we're good. We are good. I'm not even going to bother. I am not even going to bother. So let's just set up for some healing. So we'll pick up all these. That's our healing. That's all we need for right now. 200 kit. Uh oh. Dodge. Oh boy. Uh, we should still be fine. We should still be fine. This is going to hurt, but we'll be fine. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Never mind. We're definitely good. 75? Yeah, we're good. All right. So half a million on a base hit. This is the final round. This is the one. This is the final one. Let, let's see how we do here. Um, okay. So we'll have Kale go first. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we'll have Kale go first. And then uh, we'll have Khalifa go second. And then Vados go third. So that way, all the major hits will uh, be on the back where those two can defend themselves. Unfortunately, we're going to have Kale do the super attack here. It's not too bad, but I would have rather had Khalifa do it. Because I still think at this point, after all that stacking, somehow Khalifa, the Super Saiyan 2 unit, is stronger than the Kale. But we'll see. So with this Dokkan attack, our healing will be assured. No items needed. Free to play, no items. This is my first try. So... This is working out pretty well. All right, so one attack. Here comes the second. That did nothing, understandably so. And now, Khalifa, brace for impact. Give me one additional super, just one. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Additional super. If you want to throw me another one, that's... No, all right, fine. 109. 109, wow. Pretty good. And now Vados will the Oh! Oh, Kefla can be nerfed here. Okay. Either this event is really easy, or this team is just stupidly good. She's going to take nothing. She's going to take no, no damage. Yeah. And now we're basically full health again. So, that is really good. I think now... Oh, okay. We're, we're going to still keep this as a no-item run. We're going to keep this as a no-item run. We still risk uh, getting killed on the last slot. But I kind of want to... I kind of want to leave it. Uh, medium chance of evading enemies attack. Okay. Yep, we're totally we're totally gonna do this. We're totally doing this. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. 
And the moment of truth. Hit. Don't get me killed, bud. Oh my god, watch him super hit. If he does, then we lose. But you know what? We this this showcase still stands because we did what we needed to do. We we came in here on our first try and we showed just how powerful this team can be with everybody in their final forms. So with those two TURs, this makes the free-to-play scene so much better. Not only for Universe 6, but Universe Survival Saga. Actually, wait, is there a Universe Survival Saga lead? Well, there is, but not a very good one. Universe Survival Saga, in terms of the free-to-play side, is not that good right now. I think we need to wait for, like, either Tech Jiren to get uh, a, an Awakening or something. I don't know. But whenever that happens, and we actually can you know, run a free-to-play uh, Universe Survival Saga team, this team will be really, really good. And uh, Pure Saiyans is going to be a lot better now. Actually, maybe not Pure Saiyans. And yeah, I mean, you, you can still do Pure Saiyans. You just won't get much of the support from the... <gasps> oh, there you go. There you go. We took 31k from a base hit. I love it. The nerfs, man. It's all working. It all fits. Okay. So we're going to give all of this to Khalifla. So that puts her at 130. Yeah. Oh, so it was the Kefla that... Ooh, that looks really good with the sticker. Jeez. That looks really good with the sticker. And then we'll have Kale go. And we're not going to use the active skill for Khalifla. No need. No need. All right. Base hit. We take 10. We take 57, and now we'll get three super attacks. You heard me right. Three. Watch. Watch. One and two. Told you. We're going to get a third one because she wants to She wants to show off. Told you. Yes. Showcase complete. Three super attacks. Uh, oh, yes. Get hit. Get hit. Don't dodge this. Don't dodge this. Get hit. Oh, man. <laughs> I wanted her to get hit. I wanted to see how much damage that would be. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Free to play. No items. First try. Yeah, it's a Dokkan event. But still, this is a showcase video. No edits. You know, I'm, I'm not, not doing anything special here. I'm just kind of showing you how this team works together. And it's complete. That's really good. That's really good. You guys know I love free to play. So seeing this really makes me happy because... The future is looking bright for those who don't want to spend a cent. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Love this team. I am definitely going to be running more events with this, but look at that. This team works so well. Wow, 14 minutes? Five minutes? What the heck did I do in five minutes? Probably pay to play. So that is going to be it, guys. That is how free-to-play Universe 6 works. I hope you enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed it. Single take, man. Single take. If you can record a video in single take with a certain team, that means that that team has some real potential. And uh, we're learning that with the Universe 6 side. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments, have you run these two new TUR Saiyans? If so, what do you think? What are your, what's your take on these two units? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you wanna see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again, stay tuned and always remember to dope responsibly.